In this video, I would like to go over um, how to uh, uh, check a run capacitor. Well, there are many different run capacitors for your condensing unit. Um, my last video, I measured the run capacitor when it was damaged. I'm going to do another video right here to measure when it's uh, good. So, uh, some run capacitors only have two terminals, and some have three. What happened is that they basically basically combined two capacitors into one. So sometimes you'll have, well first of all there are three things. First uh, you have your common C right there. Then you have your HERM, H-E-R-M. This is where your compressor goes towards. HERM stands for hermetic I think. Uh, and then you have FAN, F-A-N. So other capacitors might have common and fan and then you have another capacitor common and, and herm um, but this one is all in one uh, whenever you buy these run capacitors uh, you want to uh, uh, get the correct capacitance so right here you can see right there it says 40 plus 5 it doesn't mean 40 add 5 it means 40 and 5 you see that macrofarad so it's 40 microfarad and 5 microfarad. The 40 goes between common and uh, the compressor, hermetic, right here. So these two, in a second when I measure it, it should uh, be 40 microfarads. And right here, from common to fan, should be 5 microfarads. And it should be within 5% tolerance. The second thing that you want to pay attention whenever you buy a ring capacitor is the rating of voltage. So right here it says 440 volts uh, and it operates off 50 to 60, uh, 50 to 60 hertz. Um, the 50 to 60 hertz that's pretty common so you don't have to worry about that. The main thing you want to see is 440 volts. So at a common uh, condensing unit, um, it's about 220 volts for a normal residential uh, AC system. So anything beyond 220 is, of course, is what you need. A typical, typically, uh, the cheaper ones are rated at 300, 320 volts AC. A little bit better ones are at 440 volts. So that's the second thing you want to get is uh, the higher the voltage, the better. You don't want to go overboard. 440 volt is pretty good, so this is this should be a pretty good capacitor. Um, and then you also can see where it's made. This one is made in China. There are some that are made in Mexico and Canada, and China is the cheapest, of course, among all three. And uh, I just get made in China. They work fine. Uh, the ones that are made in Mexico are almost double the price. Um, so, there is one more rating on here that norm, no, nobody really talks about, and that's the temperature rating. Um, you have to go to the manufacturer's website to find out the temperature rating. All of these are pretty much the same, but the better capacitors do have a higher temperature rating, and they tend to last a lot longer, which is the reason why they're more expensive. So, let's go back here. I said earlier that you want to measure... 40 microfarads and 5 microfarads. Um, you take your digital multimeter DMM right here and you have to have the capacitance capability. Uh, so I switch over to the capacitance capability and I need to... Okay, now it's on farads. It says nanofarads. So what you do is you measure common C right there and I want to measure it at the compressor side and my hands in the way oh there we go 40.5 uh, microfarad so that's good and then if I measure the fan it should say 5 there you go 5 microfarads basically how you measure capacitance on your uh, run capacitor and good luck uh, replacing it.